To understand this lesson, you will need to have covered iteration in Python. An array is a data structure that allows you to store more than one item of data, as long as they are the same data type in a single variable. Have a look at this code. Run this in Python to see the result. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. Now try out the following code in Python. Try to figure out what Len is doing in this program. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. All right, here's what's happening. So far, you are aware of the print function. Well, another function is Len. This is also known as a length check and we'll find out the length of a value. As an example, when applied to a variable such as word, which may contain the value hello, it will return five, as that's how many characters are in that variable. However, apply the length check function to our color list, as seen previously, and it returns four. This is because there are four items in our list. Try out the code but add and remove items from the colors list and see how the result changes. All right, now try out this code and try to figure out what is happening. Feel free to change the number a few times uh, to give yourself a better idea. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. What we have here is an example of indexing or slicing a list. The value in the squared brackets tells the program you want to take a particular item from the list. You might notice one didn't show red. It actually showed blue. The reason is because in Python, all lists start with zero. Try redoing the program with zero instead of one and see what happens. Try out the following two programs in Python and work out what you think is happening. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. You may have worked one out before even writing the codes, but the max function will find the largest value in the list, whereas the min function will show you the smallest value in the list. All right. Create the following code in Python. Run the code and then try to figure out what is going on. Pause the video here to give yourself time to do this. All right, here's how the code works. This program is adding all the scores in our list and then outputting the total. Starting with our first line. Remember from the previous lesson, this count variable is going to be used to help us move through our list by counting the positions. I'll explain more on this soon. In our second line, we have a T variable. I have deliberately called this T to get you to guess what it was doing. This variable uh, will actually be used to work out the total. Our third line contains our array of scores. In our fourth line, we are introducing the condition for our while loop. The condition here is that count needs to be less than the length of the scores list. In theory, this should let us run through the entire list. However, there is a little problem in this line. See if you can spot it. We'll come back to it later. In the next line, we use the value of count to show the position in our scores list and then add this value to the t variable. As an example, when count is zero, we will add three from scores into t, whereas when count is three, we will add one into t. The last line of our while loop will add one into count. This line is important so we can move through our list and also so that the loop doesn't go on forever. Finally, we output the total using print t. Before we end this, did you spot the error in the code? It's actually in line four, our condition. The less than sign means as soon as count reaches the last item in the list, 
the loop will no longer run, meaning we don't get 6 added into our total. We can fix this by adding an equals after the less than, or adding a plus 1 to the end of the line. And that is almost everything you need to know about arrays.